Hello, everybody. And welcome, oh, once again, to Pokemon Soul Silver Randomized Nuzlocke Edition. Starring me, Planet Jane, and also, like, Junko, our player character. Actually saved in the game last time, so this will work for once. Anyway, um, <coughs> uh, if you were, uh, watching last episode, you already know that, um, we underwent a tragedy with the loss of Elephant, the, the greatest among us. Um, but we're gonna soldier on. I, I, I implied at the end of the last episode, or maybe I even outright said it, I forget, um, that I would do some off-screen training. I have decided not to do that simply because uh, my schedule lined up in such a way that I got a bunch of recording time today. So I'm probably going to knock out at least one episode, maybe two or three, and we'll see how things go. How I'm feeling, uh, and, and, you know, a bunch of other good stuff. Basically what I want to do is uh, I want to... Uh, actually, hold up. Do you... Uh, see if there's a bug catching contest today i'm gonna if you don't if you guys don't mind i'm gonna treat that as like a special in, in uh not a special interest but a pokemon is one of mine but uh, a special instance uh sure sure but yeah we were uh, we're gonna... Well, what, I, what I'll do is I'll catch it, and then I'll I'll leave the question to you guys of, of whether or not I should be allowed to use this. Since the sports, like the bug catching contest, is kind of a different thing. But if you feel that I should just uh, stick with the Caterpie that I, I got the first time, I think, if I am remembering right, uh, then I will do that. And also, hey, it's a Metapod this time, so like... I guess never mind. <laughs> we'll just uh, hit it with a fusion. And I mean probably right we could catch it right there and I'll tackle it first. Just to be sure. Okay, maybe one more time. You know, just to be sure. And, uh, you know, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm pretty bummed out about the fact that we lost, uh, our drowsy, but, uh, life is as life does. Yes. I'm gonna name you... Alright, I forgot that there's, like, this whole thing where you, like, you, you're supposed to, um, like, you can catch more than one, and it goes with the strongest one that you can. We're just gonna run around until time runs out, to be quite honest with Oh, okay. Or I will accidentally go into the grass and we'll encounter something else. Another Caterpie, so, you know. Whatever. <laughs> um. Yeah, I mean. There's no reason to not fight this. What I want to do after we do the, the, the competition here is I want to clear out the rest of the trainers that are up in this area. Um, and then we will take on the gym, although I'm admittedly quite concerned about our ability to do so effectively. But, you know, we'll scope out what the, uh, like what the level range is for the, um, the regular gym trainers and we'll go from there. Hey, I want to go and get that ball. I'm gonna do that. What item is this? A dive ball. Why not? It's the kind of thing which is like, it's really not very useful to us, I don't think, but it's one of those things you'd rather have than not, I suppose. Is there any other, anything else over here? Is there like an item over on this side too? If you're gonna be like, oh, I thought you said you played... Wow, okay, that's pretty good. Although, 
I think the only Pokemon we have that can learn that already knows it. But, um, if you're gonna be like, Oh, I thought you said you'd played this game before. Please understand that, A, uh, the remix changed things around, and B, like, I played the games before almost 20 years ago. <laughs> so, you know... Huh. Surely we didn't win with a Metapod. Okay. I was gonna be like, hey. But why'd the guy that got caught a... Why'd the guy that caught a Caterpie win over us? We caught Caterpie Plus. I'm gonna nickname it Sports. Yeah, none of you can stop me. Um, to be quite honest with you, the, the whole, uh, thing about, like, should we be able to use that or not, it's not really an active concern, because, like, if I wanted to switch to, uh, the Butterfree family, I would just use the Caterpie we caught up here the other day, so, never mind. I thought there were a couple trainers left up here, maybe I have to, like, leave and come back for it to reset their positions? Let's try that real quick. And if that doesn't do it, um, then I don't know what we'll do. I also still haven't really decided what to do with Heracross, um, it was, like, I have expected it to just give us the regular Togepi, I certainly was not expecting that. So, like, I don't entirely know what to, uh, what to do with it. I'll think about it. For now, we're basically just gonna ignore it. <laughs> And in fact, I might temporarily box it to get our Zigzagoon, just so we can uh, navigate the area a little bit more easily. You got a Squirtle, huh? I swear, like, a fully half the trainers in this game, the, the randomizer gave them starters. Which would not be a problem if starters didn't largely have, like, good stats and, uh, you know, solid movesets, but they do. Well, no, not Bubble. <clears throat> this should be a very easy fight for us to win, because it is asleep. Not to state the obvious, but, you know. As for me, I'm recording this the day after uh, the great disaster, and, um, a Charmander. Sure. That, that's a weird thing to happen by coincidence. I feel like there's something else going on there. Um, what the hell was I talking about? Yeah, it's the day after we, uh, we lost Elefunk in real life for me. I'm recording this on a Saturday. You guys won't see it till Wednesday because that's how backlogs work. But I kind of, uh, like I feel the, um, the early stages of a cold setting in, or, or something, and, and I wanted to, uh, to get out ahead of it, basically, and get some stuff done while I still can, which is why I didn't do the off-screen. Off-screen training. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. <clears throat> what? what Yeah, sure, bud. Do-do-do-do-do. You guys will have to forgive me if I'm marginally less talkative over the uh, the course of the next two episodes. Oh no, not a cricket hot. I shouldn't mock uh, our enemies, given what happened on the last episode. Shortly after I did that exact thing. Thankfully, there's no such thing as, like, a fumble in Pokemon, so if you take out more than half of an enemy's, uh, health, you know that you'll be able to take the rest of it out with, by just using the same attack again, provided the first time wasn't a crit, you know what I mean. A Silcoon. I wonder if it's, like, programmed to only ever put bugs here. That would be interesting. Also, I don't know why I'm just randomly uh, running through the grass. I'm 
trying to find these other trains. I just want to basically get Pokey up to the level of the rest of our party. What do you want? Joke about the freaking Poke Locker. Alright. Hmm. I don't know about that one, but. I think maybe that means you should get a different Pokemon. Oh, hey! A Nidoqueen, huh? Yo, like, I'm not trying to complain. That's a lie, I'm complaining. But just like, what's with the, the, uh, well actually you might technically be able to get a Nidoqueen at level 16. I forget when, uh, Nidoran evolves into its, uh, middle stages. But like, still. It's a bit early for us to be encountering one of these things, I feel like. Also, we're doing, like, no damage to it. Well, that's not fair, but we're doing less damage than I would like to be doing to it. Just stay asleep, please. Yeah, thank you. The good news is this is gonna give uh, Pokey here a ton of experience. Let's go. Very good. My Pokemon. I have no idea what level Slowpoke evolves at, by the way. Uh, I assume it is a level. Is about all I can uh, state with any degree of confidence. What about you? Are you a trainer? I don't think you get any benefit from having more than one, do you? I don't remember how the Poke Walker thing worked. Huh. What? <laughs> I guess that's somebody we fought yesterday, and that's their, like, after battle text, but I don't really get it. I think that might be all the trainers up here, which, uh, if it is, sucks a little bit, but... We'll just get Pokey up to level 17, and then we're gonna try to take on the gym. I have no idea what to expect. <clears throat> My fear is that we may be charging in a little bit too early. I'm not going to answer that. Um, goodness, that's almost annoying as a real phone. Uh, there's gotta be some right? Right? Oh, Ralts. Right, I forgot these are up here. I guess it's not programmed to only spawn bugs. I don't know if it's just like, um, because I had the, uh, like, match similar strength toggle turned on. It might just be that most of the things in this level range are bugs, but I feel like we'd be getting more like, uh, you know, like the the rodent Pokemon, like fucking um, Bidoof and stuff, I don't know. I suspect that something went kind of weird with the randomizer, but I have no way of proving it. Um, I'm pretty sure we fought this guy. I guess we're just done up here. <laughs> like, you know? Sometimes in this life, you're just done. Stop using Bide! It does nothing for you. That's true, traded Pokemon do level up somewhat faster. I don't remember the specifics of that whole what's it, but that is a thing. Um hit it with a little bit of confusion. A critical hit, huh? No comment.
All right. Um. Yeah, we're gonna get out of here then and uh, go take on the gym and hope we don't get our asses handed to us. Is basically the uh, the beginning and end of my strategy. Like the the fact that we have it turned on full random makes it get hard to uh, hard to strategize very much about what we're uh, going up against because we don't know what we're going up against. It could be pretty much anything. I uh, I just hope I I, I hope it's mostly fire types because we got plenty of water to hose things down with. Pun intended. Actually, the uh, the Universal Pokemon Randomizer, one other thing I would like to see in it, on top of this already very robust option, <coughs> pardon me, is a thing where you can turn on the uh, stick to one type, but just for the gym, like the gym leaders, or just the gyms in general. I think that would be a solid improvement. And it would make the gyms, like, a little bit easier to deal with. But, I'm, uh, I'm putting stuff off. No, okay, that's the way you get to Co you get to Kanto eventually. Um... Where is the gym? I've forgotten. I feel very silly all of a sudden. Is it- was it not just, like, up here? Uh, No, it's right here. Okay. I don't know. I'm a fool and a dunce. Yeah, it's not, but, like, thank you for your attempt at helping anyway. Uh, let's see here. Like... As above, so below, is what they say. We do want to be fighting all these people, so let's just dive in. Gay. Uh, a sea dot. Okay. It's only level 9. We should actually, you know, this would be a good opportunity for Chucky to get some experience. So let's do that. Growth. You know, not much of anything on its own. Right, we have a very limited offensive move pool with Chucky right now. Try to knock off. Yeah, that did like nothing. Um. Guess we'll just spam Medicaid. Does this thing know any actual attacks? I shouldn't jinx it, but like... I guess that's a thing, right? Like, the AI likes to spam setup moves. Even if they're not really working. A Burmy. No, I will not switch my Pokémon. Not if it's level 9. Uh, it's not. But... Okay, well... We're doing this, then. I mean, if it just keeps spamming prote uh, Protect, this is an experience pinata. Like, it's annoying, but it doesn't actually stop us. It slows us down slightly. <clears throat> you are a fool and a charlatan, and I hope you know that. My good sir, my good man. <laughs> what do you want me to do here? <laughs> Come on. Just wasting my power points. Is that your strategy? Uh, Tyrogue. Yeah, that's fine. I don't think any of its moves would be able to affect us. I'm supposed to find out. Uh, ooh. No, 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 no. Alright. Yeah, now we wanna now we wanna pull out. Um, moves will not be able to affect us unless it uses something like that. Which if you're not, it this took me years to figure out. But uh, 
what Foresight does is it lets normal type moves connect with with ghost type Pokemon and a couple other similar things, I think. I think Odor Sleuth does the same thing. Oh, cool. Um, I'm actually gonna head to the Pokemon Center just so we can get all of Chucky's power points back. Notice how I conspicuously avoid calling them PP. If we decide the gym is too hard enough for us right now, I think we can head on into the uh, flower shop up there and do the thing with the pseudo-udo. But I'm not, admittedly not 100% sure. Do -do 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 -do. And you know, uh, again, I, I do beseech you all to not be upset at Pokey for effectively replacing Elefunk in our lineup. He's pulling, he's pulling his weight. He's trying his best, you know? What can we ask of one Slowpoke, if not that? Um, yeah, like, we could go around and, like shortcut through all this, but we actually don't want to do that. Like, I want as much experience as I can get out of it. <clears throat> Let's go! Samantha. A Mareep. Well, that's a bad thing for, uh... Ooh, that's a bad thing for most of our Pokemon. Shit. I did not realize until just now how poorly equipped we are against, uh, electric types. It's basically just Buzz. Who is not, uh, like, weak to that. Hmm. Troubling. Said it was Silver Wind. I was hoping we'd get that all-important, uh, all stats up, but that's okay. Twin Needle will finish it off for us. Man, I didn't realize until I started playing this how much they buffed, um... Rage. Hmm. Uh, that's probably better than Poison Sting. Yeah. I kind of want to have him learn U or have her learn U-Turn, but I don't really know, uh... Like, wo what we'd replace it with. Um... I think Doduo is mostly learning normal type attacks, so I think we're safe to do this. I guess we'll find out. Let's see. Growl does not really do anything. Right, okay. Um, it does, because I think Knockoff runs off a physical attack. Oh boy, that's annoying. Yeah, and this is not tenable, never mind. Uh, we'll give Brittany a chance to get some work done. Stop spamming Growl! Yeah, friggin' so-and-so. I'm going to destroy everything you hold dear. Pardon? You could do that this whole time and just chose not to? Um... We shouldn't risk that, actually. Like, I feel a little foolish doing this, but I really just would prefer to, uh... Not lose anybody today, especially not one of our veterans. Okay, no problems. <laughs> Meow, that's right. Um... Probably... Hold on. How do you... Oh, you have to go around and go in there, okay. Uh, we'll head back to Pokemon Center then. 
I know it's a little tedious, but like, I feel like there's no reason not to. Um, between Gim, uh, Gim battles, I don't know why I'm finding it so hard to talk today. <coughs> Thank you for waiting. What if they decided to give every Pokemon NPC voice acting by just having them read the game script in a Microsoft Sand voice? I really think that that would add something to the experience. Not anything good, but, you know, something. This is about to be a very funny joke if he sends out, like, a pincer or something. A Duskull. Same energy, basically. Um, we don't want to fight this with Pokey, though. Uh, who do we want to fight with this? This might be one best left to Toto. I, I kind of don't have a great grasp on Duskull's moveset. Astonish. Just whatever. Could just bite it. It's super effective. Okay, well that's just dickish. Fuck you. Uh, a Bonsley. We will keep Toto out. Although we could have probably switched back to Pokey, but whatever. Rock types are not a problem for us, by any means. A Spiro. Um... You know, it's tempting to go for the mirror match, but I think it's probably better to, uh, put Pokey out. Wait. Fuck. It might no Pursuit. Okay, we should put this to sleep. Alright. See, it's not actually doing very much damage, but we can not switch out. Because if it uses Pursuit while we switch out, that's going to be a huge problem. Hang in there, bud. You've got this. You are the mayor of Winning Town. Okay. Yeah. It's all good. No cause for alarm. Yes. Also, Spiro, another Pokemon that I'm not really sure I'd call cute, per se. I'm actually gonna have Chucky lead. Um, hopefully we don't get stuck with anything with friggin' Arena Trap, but that's going to be a concern. Literally, always, I'm pretty sure. So, basically, just gonna switch out a ball toy. Or will I? Um, we might just be good here. Screech at it. Ooh, I don't like that. Okay, yeah, we're, we're gonna switch out. <laughs> I was like, oh, we should be fine, and then it did that, and now I'm like, actually, no. I should have healed Pokey between fights also, but that's my mistake. Mudslap is annoying, but not, like, that big of a deal. And Psybeam should do, like, nothing. Yeah. Uh, why don't we heal you up, just because, like, I'm... Earned. God forbid it knows. I don't know. Did anything other than Dark Ride and no fucking like Dark Pulse this gen? I don't think so, but still. Stop using Mud Slap!
Anything that lowers accuracy is just the devil. And I think Psybeam can actually technically confuse you too, which doesn't do it very often. It's like a 10% chance or something. <clears throat> This is, like, going to kill me in real life, not in the game. Okay, let's just recognize when it's a good idea to just switch to another Pokemon. <laughs> I will end your life. And hey, Toto gets a level off of that, most likely, so... 69! Nice. 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 I think that's the last trainer before the gym leader, yeah. Alright, well, we're about to have, um... A competition of something. I don't know. I tried to come up with a funny haha -ha there and it, it didn't work. A battle of wits, if you will. I mean, the one good thing is that unless, uh, the... Thanks for that, Windows News. Uh, hopefully that guy's did, that didn't pop up for you guys. I don't think it did, because... Streamlabs is just capturing Melon DS, but I'm not entirely sure. <sighs> yeah, I definitely need to be informed of things like that while I'm trying to play friggin' Pokemon. Uh, who do we lead with? I think... I don't think it's a bad idea to lead with. Um, the exception to that would be, like, I want to teach Pokey, or not Pokey, um, I want to teach Buzz U-Turn, but, like, I don't know, maybe we should teach Brittany U-Turn? Well, let's take a, take a gander, see. We don't really need a Leer. Hmm. The main thing uh, making me hesitate to commit to that is that Buzz, uh, god damn it. No, yes, okay, thank you. Is that uh, Buzz already knows, or er, like, I, I would like to teach it to Buzz, but Buzz already knows two powerful bug type moves. So, like, I don't know. I also raise all the user's stats. You know what I just realized? That this is running off of special attack. Um, which Buzz does not have a great amount of. It's more, it's more of a physical attacker. So maybe we just should replace it with u turn. Yeah, like, the uh, the all stats up thing is nice, but it doesn't uh, actually happen that often. And, uh, it gives us, like, a nice option to, well, I mean, it's what the, literally what the move does. We can attack once and then switch out to something else. Um, okay. Let's rock and roll. <coughs> We're gonna get this badge, and it's not gonna be an issue. <laughs> Alright. <coughs> Let's do this. Hi, I'm Whitney. Actually, gonna make a second save state here, just like I don't know because.
do, 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 do. Very intense music. Chili has two Pokemon? No, that's a Rhyhorn, huh? Sure, you know, a Rhyhorn, everybody's favorite. Um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna switch right out, basically. Uh, like, let's not waste any uh any time. Let's just try to gun this guy down with a uh, water gun. Stomp doesn't seem like it's too bad. Rhyhorns aren't super awful by themselves, I guess. It's just a little bit of a shock. Infernape! I mean, we already got the, the best thing we're gonna get for handling that out. Taunt's pretty nasty, but we were gonna attack anyway. So, like, bring it on, basically. You can't taunt me. I'm taunting you. Yeah, it's gonna use Super Potion. We're just gonna hit with Water Gun again. Did it crit the first time? I guess it must have. Uh, and I think that's game? Not quite. I'm just gonna keep spamming Water Gun, though. Like, there's no reason to do anything else. Mach Punch, huh? Or Mac Mach Punch, I think it's technically. It's not... Look. I know things, okay? Don't worry about it. And there we go. That was... Wow, I, I was worried for nothing. That was much less hard than some of the other fights we had in this gym. Uh, Ice Fang? Yes. Um... I'm gonna get rid of Rage, probably. We're not really using it. Right, you have to, like, actually do something else to get the badge out of her. I forgot about this. Or not. I thought you had to ma maybe do the, uh, like, rocket side quest, but I suppose not. It's a trap. We're not going to be doing that, uh, unless the game makes us, but, you know. Just something to think about, I suppose. Uh, and that's the plane badge. I gotta be honest with you, I thought that was going to be a lot harder. Um, you know, Whitney, something of an infamous leader in Gen 2, given the, uh, the mill tank, but... I guess if you take away the mill tank and just replace it with a random other strong Pokemon, you're not necessarily guaranteed to get much success. The thing with the mill tank is that it's normal type, and there's not much that's super effective against it. Also, it knows rollout, which is a huge pain as far as moves go. You know what I wish Buzz could learn was a, is a first impression, but sadly that move would not exist until like seven or eight years after this game came out, so you know. It's what it's. As they say, and by they I mean me. Um. Let me think here. I think for now, we're just gonna try to focus on our four strongest Pokemon. We're gonna just use our four strongest Pokemon. I will train the other two off-screen. Like, I actually will do that, I'm just not entirely sure when. That's that underground place, right? This is the flower shop. Do you just get a water bucket from talking to this lady? I forget. Hello? 
Hell yeah. Uh, we're gonna see what that's about. Fixed encounters, uh, I will be counting as, like, a separate, um, thing. Because there's not very many of them, and... Also, I want to catch whatever Pokemon it spits at us, uh, for the Lake of Rage. Because I'm curious if it'll make it a shiny, even though it's probably not going to be here though this time. Maybe I should lead with, uh, with Shuppet for a while. The main thing is, um... The main thing is... Uh, Heracross. Like, I still, I, I'm still thinking about it in the back of my mind about whether or not I want to, um, you know, use it for much of anything. It, it's a strong Pokemon. What sets me, like, what makes me hesitant is that it's got kind of a weird typing for, uh, for what else we've got going on. Like, oh, we need to... Uh, we need fucking Zigzagoon. <laughs> I forgot to go get it. That's my bad. That is my bad. I guess if we're just training the one, it shouldn't be too hard. I don't know. I'm very indecisive. Have you noticed this yet? <laughs> it's just like... What the... Uh, why, why has everything got to be a hard and fast decision at all times? Really? You're doing this to me again. Maybe this one doesn't have arena trap? Let's find out. Okay. You know... I don't curse the random number gods very often. But... It, trap Inch again? Really? Like... I don't know. Perhaps I expect too much consistency. It is called a randomizer, after all. Also, I'll tell you what, having to go back all the way back to the Pokemon Center just because we forgot to get Zigzagoon out is making me really appreciate um, the whole, like, remote box access thing in Gen 8. Pokemon. Uh, here's Zigzagoon. No, hold on. That's incorrect. Like I said, we probably will train um, Heracross up at some point. I'm just not sure at, at what point. <coughs> yes. Since apparently the wilds are uh, flooded with the most insidious life form imaginable, the trap inch. We'll, have, we'll put Pokey out front. Actually, I'm curious about something. Why not just learn for a fact? When does Slowpoke evolve? Tell me, Bulbapedia. At level 37? Good lord! That's... madness. Well, I mean, if we have it, if we have it on us for that long, it, it won't seem that crazy, I suppose, but... Still, that's quite late. I thought they evolved earlier than that. The other thing is if we find a King's Rock, because of how the randomizer simplifies evolution, we should be able to get it to evolve into a Slow King, uh, much earlier. But, uh, just randomly stumbling across a King's Rock would be 
uh, it would be quite fortuitous, let's put it that way. I don't expect such a thing to happen. Confusion. Excellent. Does Slowpoke learn like Psy Beam at some point? I imagine it does. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not gonna look up the friggin' learn set in its entirety because I. Not because I think it would be, like, pretentious or something, but because I wouldn't remember it anymore the second I stopped looking at the page. <laughs> and that's just a fact about me. I don't like that. You have done a thing that I am not fond of. You're not gonna take take her out. Like, you're just being a jerk, essentially, is what you're doing. This is TDM Incarnate. One of the things I do appreciate about the new the new gems is that they kind of like removed most of the um like annoying status moves that don't really change the tides of battle that much from uh, wild Pokemon like low level wild Pokemon. So you don't run into stuff that just puts your whole uh, crew to sleep. A flame plate. Well, that's just like comically useless for us. I want to see what's down here, though, because there's an NPC down here, and maybe he gives us something? I'm not a glam meow. Alright. The land of wild cats over here, apparently. Glam meow and, uh, Skitty. Very similar Pokemon. Both, uh, normal type normal type cats with only one evolution and they were introduced a generation apart how curious a coffin <laughs> that's what I'm doing right now Goodbye. Farewell. Probably should have done some shopping, actually, now that I think about it, but... Oh, okay, you're just a trainer. Fair enough! A bird keeper. Probably doesn't have any actual birds, given the randomizer. Yeah. <laughs> it would, uh... It would be funny if he still did, but... You know, that's a lot to expect. I think the solution to, to, to dealing with something that has uh, a sleep move in its moveset is just you use your sleep move first. Which worked better back when we still had a drowsy, but I'm going to try to stop bringing that up now. Uh, a Corsola. Ah, you mean one of those ghost types. That's it. Bit of a... Bit of reference here for you there. Sorry if I was a little too highbrow for you. I don't know what this bit is. Bubble attack? That doesn't do very much. To be fair, Nightshade doesn't do very much to it, but like, you know. Recover? Fuck off. Recover you in the next week.
I'm being persecuted right now, is what's happening. This is not anything. And I hate that you're doing it. You're making me very upset. Okay, you know what? It's just... Just don't even... Don't even worry. not doing very much damage? Why? Is Corsola part rock type or something? I guess it must be. I didn't know that. Or if I did, I had since forgotten about it. Um, alright. get the whole freaking team involved in this one, I guess. To take down the mighty, uh, Corsola that we're having to deal with. Yes. Look, you can do a lot of things. You can't do much about poison. This is like the longest random incidental fight we've had in quite some time. Oh no, bubble. Uh, well I guess what we'll do is... God, like, okay, we'll try to be leveled up at least, but like nobody got much out of that because we had four fucking Pokemon out during that fight. Um. I guess what we'll do for now is just, like, lead with Toto, and then we'll have to hit up the Pokemon Center again at some point in the near future. Yeah, see, I figured there was an item hidden back here. TM78 Captivate. What the hell does Captivate do? I don't remember. Um... That's, like, nothing. <laughs> I, the, the stuff that, that, that checks for, uh, gender is just not very useful in my opinion, because it's, you know, against fully half of all Pokemon you encounter, it's not gonna do anything. It's just not much. The issue is that it's not much. Maybe you, uh... I just realized that the, um, the whole, uh, Team Rocket plot doesn't seem to have kicked off back in Goldenrod yet. Maybe that happens later? I think, like, I remember this game having a bit more backtracking than, um, they would do later on. If I am remembering correctly, which admittedly I might not be. <clears throat> Yo, come on. Just trying to get out of here. I guess we don't have to fight everything, but, like, we probably should. This is the last one. At least until we, uh, go up to the, the tree. This is just insufferable. Ah. <laughs> uh, the joys of Pokemon. There's, a, like, a multi-level cave at some point we gotta go through, too, isn't there, I think. That's gonna be a whole... time. That's the sort of thing we should probably buy repels for. Actually, uh... Since we're gonna be- since we're back in town, like, I should probably stock up on some stuff at the, uh, department store, given that we have prize money from beating the gym. Let's, uh, let's do some things here.
Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. Ah. I know we're approaching the end of the episode, but I will uh, include the Sudowoodo encounter here. Or whatever they end up spawning instead. A lot of people gazing restlessly at the building. By people, I mean Pokemon. Although Pokemon might be people, depending on who you ask, I suppose. Uh, let's see. I got cash. How many Pokeballs do I have? I got six. Um, just buy like a couple more. Actually, we could get we could be getting getting great balls probably at this point. That's so much money, though. Oh, jeez. Uh, um, like, do anything we can sell? Hold on. Sell you this? Not for any like reasonable or worthwhile amount. Not that it, not that I would probably want to. Oh, hey, a pearl. That actually we can get rid of because that's literally just a, a selling item. Um, a power anklet. Like we don't need this stuff. Yeah. Get rid of this iron ball. Iron ball. Um. Like, I don't want to sell any of the stuff that, uh, like, boosts moves, or, um... What the hell am I trying to say here? Like, I don't want to, I don't want to sell anything that boosts moves or does evolutions, because that might actually be useful at some point. Uh, but the stuff that's just, like... Like, really situational battle tower items? Like, I'm not really worried about it. Wow, we could buy quite a few of those. We're not gonna buy nearly that many. Uh. Give me five. Then you, I'm gonna buy some potions from. Just max me out. Um, yeah, and that'll be all we do here for the time being. Let's get back out to the, uh, the causeway. And let's go fight whatever, uh, our fixed encounter is. I'm eager to see, because, like, <clears throat> I don't know what the game considers of similar strength to pseudo -Mudo. I like pseudo -Mudo. Uh, it's, it's a good Pokemon that I greatly enjoy. But, um, who the heck knows what it's gonna roll up instead. <clears throat> oh, goodness, pardon me. <coughs> Normally I mute the microphone if I feel something like that coming on, but that one kind of just came out of nowhere. Yo, game... Can you cooperate with me a little bit? I'm trying to show off like the fun parts of Pokemon, not the part where your Pokemon falls asleep for 30 turns consecutively because of a random normal type in a grass patch outside of Goldenrod City. This is not the fun and enjoyable part of Pokemon. Fucking stop. Why can you even stack those effects? What annoys me the most is that it's not even attacking. I'm so angry right now. <laughs> Please, just... Am I overreacting? Like... I just don't... like... sleep as a mechanic. 
And I think that, like, Game Freak largely doesn't either, which is why, you know, as I mentioned earlier, it's not as prevalent in the movesets of the new games. You know, Confusion Paralysis, you have a chance to attack through all those, uh... And poison, you know, can be very dangerous in the wrong situations, but it's just damage over time. Sleep is just annoying. Just can't do anything until it wears off. And like, I could burn, um, like, I'm pretty sure I have a couple of awakenings on me. Do I actually, now that I think of it? I thought I did. Yeah, I have, like, a couple of each kind of medicine. But, like, I could burn some of those, but that's, like, a bad idea. Because what if, uh, we get into a trainer battle and that happens? And then, you know, you can't run away from that. That's a much more uh, problematic situation. And I don't mean problematic in, like, the cancelled on Twitter sense. I thought that the pseudo Udo was up here. Maybe it's the other way? I feel very silly. This is literally the last thing we're gonna do before we end the episode for the record. Yeah, okay. Yes. <clears throat> what do we got here? Show me your true face. A shroomish. Alright. It's level 20, fuck. Um... This might actually be something of a difficult encounter. Uh, hold on. We obviously don't want to go out against that. Um... Let's see. That's annoying. That's very irritating. Uh, I'm gonna try to catch this, to be honest with you. And I'm gonna try to use it too, most likely. Um... One aerial ace should be fine, I think. Just one. Stun spore, huh? Alright, well... Aerial ace didn't cut half of its health, and it just restored some. We should be okay to do it again, and hopefully this won't crit. Awesome, okay. Uh, we should be able to catch this, I think? I am aware that Brittany's getting pretty low on health. I'm just gonna use the Great Ball, because I don't want to risk it with the lower uh, chance Smoke Ball. Come on. Get in the ball. Excellent. Um, that's a good get. Like, I won't pretend otherwise. If magic must in a fit as a name, it's not. I guess I could just make it like one. Uh, one word, but that kind of... Wait, no, it'll fit, won't it? Hold on. M-U-S-H. Yeah, it totally does. Okay. Uh, that's a really good get for us, to be honest. Berry Pops? Okay. I don't know what that, I don't know what this does. Huh. Oh, good. Alright, what's the scoop, bud? What? Chikorita. Also, where the hell is Route 29? I have no idea what that was all about, by the way. So, like, don't ask. <laughs> Route 29? That's like all the way back here, isn't it? Yeah. It's absolutely not going back there. Back there. Um, I mean, I guess it wouldn't be that much of a 
block, given that we've gotten the group opened now because of the shortcut, but whatever. Anyway, uh, we caught a Shroomish. Holds out the Pokeball like I'm Ash from the anime. Uh, that's gonna do it for this episode. If you like the episode, make sure that you like the episode. And I will see you guys next time. Farewell.